Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this one we're going to be reacting to Community Season 6 Episode 5 called Laws of Robotics and Party Rights. Um, recap! And the last one we see Chang and Annie uh, get role get a role uh, in the Karate Kid. It's like a stage ad adaptation. Um, Annie thinks she's actually doing really well and she feels like the director's kind of picking on Chang. Um, but it turns out that she was doing really bad and he's obsessed with bringing a different version of Chang out mm. uh, who's playing Mr. Miyagi even though he went for the role of uh, Daniel, Daniel Russo. Yeah. Um, and in the end, the whole group goes to watch the play and they're all crying or they're like so engrossed in how he's able to manifest Miyagi in this way. Mm. Um, it's weird because it doesn't it doesn't sound like it's any different <laughs> to fast watching it um but meanwhile at, at the college the the dean gets asked to be on the school board um but he has to he has to basically say he's gay mm. uh or they, they think that he is and they want him to really kind of it's just a tip it's trying it's them trying to save do. save face for the fiasco of yeah. what happened in their pride parade um, yeah. So they're yeah, trying yeah. to bring him on board as a token member. School board uh, member. Yeah. yeah. Token member. Yeah. Basically. Probably the best one to put um, and Dean's thinking that he can change the way they do things or change their perception. Yeah. But instead of his name being put on like like magazines and stuff, um, it turns out. Yeah. Instead of like. Yeah, instead of Dean Pelton, just, who it, just it, happens it, it, to be it. gay, it turns into Gay yeah. Dean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. which is kind of not what he wanted but he in the end it turns out he does it does mean something to some of them some of the students he does have an so impact it's kind yeah. of a good thing in that in that way um but the two guys who run the school board oh my god i forgot their names but i, I can't remember their names now but damn um they are some, something else there's something else um i think that, did anything happen with Jeff and Britta and no, Frankie. Was okay, I was just mainly focused on uh, the Miyagi stuff and the Dean stuff. Um, okay, let's see what happens in this episode. Uh, season 6, Episode 5, uh, Laws of Robotics and Party Rights. Let's check it out. Financial prospect that could put the school in the black, which always confuses me because black means bad when it's a cat. Or banana. And he's referring to ink. Did someone use the word black and now you want me to give you the all clear? Yeah, please. I have a brain the size of Jupiter. I'm nobody's fourth Ghostbuster. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I was thinking we could have a party at our apartment. Abed, Annie? You could have a party. You can't have a rager. We have a rule against more than eight guests. Eight guests? Why do you need there to be more than eight guests? You don't even have a real bedroom. You're a coucher. She sleeps Ooh. on the couch. She's a coucher. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Frankie, Don't I guess. Alarmed. I'm attending our meeting using what's called a telepresence robot. I resent the idea that this would alarm me. <laughs> the state of Colorado has come to us with a unique... <laughs> okay. Proposition. Oh, was this some sort of demonstration? The Department of Corrections will pay us money if we allow a small manageable number of inmates to attend Greendale using these. I'm responsible for this school. I won't have hardened criminals exposing themselves to it. That's what you're thinking oh, no. of? What is he going to do? A $300,000 incentive. We'll do it. Dean, do it. That's wow. a lot of money. Do yeah, it. you need that. Do it. You know, ordinarily, I do anything you say. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, but. <laughs> I see any race gangs forming. I will have no choice but to adjust the contrast on your screens until you all look the same. <laughs> A very strict, no bullying policy that relates directly to me. So be nice to me. What a way to welcome them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's mean. Mr. Jeff Winger, I teach fundamentals of law. Does that mean you can teach me how to get out? <laughs> you might learn a thing or two. 
And I mean literally a thing or two. Cool. <laughs> and they call me the criminal. <laughs> He's got jokes. I don't want you to take another man's life. The least you can do is carry it with you. That's insightful. Are you carrying any murders, Mr. Winger? I am not. I hear you have to have strong feelings for someone you kill. I try to reserve that stuff for myself. And moving on to law. That's enough law. Okay. Who wants to watch Planet <laughs> Oh my god! They're not gonna do anything! <laughs> Haven't you been in our apartment longer than Annie? Oh yeah. I remember when she first She's gonna in. try and get Abbott to try and get more than eight guests. Yeah. Or agree to more than eight guests. You're saying I was first in the apartment, so I could overrule Annie and let you have a party, but I don't get anything out of parties. I make movies, Britta. I make movies, Annie makes rules, you make parties. Her rules cancel out your parties, but I'm not involved. I just make movies. Nice try, Britta. Is she going to use that somehow? How? He can make a movie about a party. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay, that's not weird. Why are you just waiting out here? I think I lost a ball bearing and rolled down them stairs. Lost a ball bearing? Uh-huh. Down them stairs. You want me to look down these stairs? Uh... Is he gonna... Push him down? No. <laughs> yeah. You're not that strong. <laughs> Did you just try to murder me? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll see you in class tomorrow. That was Guy fun. Guy who tried to murder me. Yeah. Oh, I'll see you in class tomorrow, Mr. That is weird as well, right? Mm-hmm. You know me better than that. This is all set dressing. I'm helping Abed produce his next Yeah, film. Yeah, she did it. Britta's party, based on a true story of fun and no rules. Oh, she added no rules as well. Exactly. Way more than eight. Huh? It becomes a rager. Everyone has a great time and parties like there's no tomorrow. Then they leave. Sophia cleans up. <laughs> who's, who's Sophia? First movie to capture the heart of a real party. The sensation that there's no tomorrow. The transcendence of time and mortality. Abed, you were easily tricked here. Oh. I wonder what... Before this is over, you'll beg for my forgiveness. Oh, Damn. shit. I really want to see what she does. It's funny because she looks like the serial killer now. But she can get devious and he can get really devious. Yeah. He's here for an education, Jeffrey, and he reports to the prison. Could you do a little more in your class and show Planet Earth? Oh, he's, oh, he's on snitched. Him. He tried to murder me last night. What? Why would an actual murderer want to kill a community college teacher? <laughs> Put two and two together, man. <laughs> Mr. Winger was born in dirt, Willie. And I had my face held down in that dirt by the kings of dirt. And now they're still there, ruling over dirt. And I got out. Okay. Garrett. <laughs> Mr. Winger, when did you stop being funny? <laughs> Who knew? Garrett's kind of funny. Everyone's so charmed by him because he's a violent criminal, but he's also a petty sociopath. How long is this party going on for? Is it, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I completely forgot this was about the party. Party like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, why don't you just do some business in the background for now? <laughs> that was like, you suck. <laughs> The Department of Corrections is very, very happy. Which means Greendale is gonna be rich. We got the money? Smuggled in a few guests to the party. To oh celebrate no. With us. Did someone order a prison break? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is gonna be fun. What's going through his mind? He sees him. It's like he's found someone more charming than. Jeff, that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. Is that as hard as you can dance? You're at a party. You're celebrating. Is he doing it? It's six in the morning. Oh even... my god. Yeah. It's... Do you think you've gotten enough shots? Nobody's partied like there's no tomorrow yet. They keep dancing like it's today. That's okay. Oh my god. He's going to ruin it for her, yeah. This is the reason I signed on to this film. I think it's a performance issue. I think this needed some real actors. Okay, from the top. And action. No. You did try it. Oh my Britta. god, he's got a 
script for him to come back. Hey, whoa, what's going on? Whoa, 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 hey, careful. Dude, dude, dude. Bam. You actually threw him down the stairs. Murderer. I'm a murderer. Can I be as cool as you now? Huh? Willie? <laughs> <laughs> Willie? What? <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, you are on sabbatical. Oh, damn. Abed's a genius. He's actually having a hard time deciding what to cut, so it's going to be in two volumes, and it's hard to sleep, <laughs> but it's worth it because it's a <laughs> Nope. You are suffering. Would you like my help? Yes. <laughs> Have you learned anything? Don't question rules. Rules are good. I'm bad. All hail Annie. Wow. That was pretty quick. Dean's making that convict he murdered into a professor. What? The guy's dangerous and he's manipulating him. Isn't that what you usually do? Mm -hmm. No. I mean, yes, but not like that. Kind of like that. I wouldn't use him emotionally. I That's wouldn't also true. him. I wouldn't hurt him. Yeah, you kind of would. Have you ever thought of saying that to the Dean? Go to him. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> My script is misleading. It's impossible to party like there's no tomorrow. Well done. I'm stupid. You're shooting a stupid movie. That's a wrap. Wow. Go on, we're done here. I feel like Britta needs some knew, sort of... I knew that all along. Yeah. I feel like Britta needs some sort of punishment here. What's going to happen to me? You're going to be punished. Mm -hmm. In ways you won't understand for longer than you think is rational or possible. Welcome to Abed. Then one day, you'll do something he likes and he'll stop. One day. And eventually you'll either adapt or lose your mind. Mm -hmm. And you won't know what day it is. Girls. Girls. <laughs> What's that? This Dean and this prisoner stand here together today to prove that the dream is real. What the hell is happening? It's like they're getting married. Do you accept responsibility for any damage incurred by hiring a felon? I do. It's like a wedding ceremony. Just, Why yeah, like that's that? what I'm saying. It's like a wedding. I agree there's no reason you shouldn't give this guy my job. Save it, Jeffrey. I don't want to hear it. But don't do it before I tell you some things that I've been getting away with not saying. Oh my god, he's gonna declare his friendship. I'm not just a pretty face that murders people and tells you what you want to hear. I'm less than that. I'm a gorgeous face. <laughs> That works for you and considers you a friend. That's the words he needed to hear. To be fair, you guys know Will is an innocent man, right? You shut your mouth, Warden. No, it's true. His appeal is in motion. There's new DNA evidence. He's a good friend. Oh, he's not even a murderer. Oh. Not a murderer? I can explain. That's a good thing. Son of a bitch! What? What's he going to find in that? <laughs> Do this by community college rules. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> oh my god. Come on! Let's do it! <laughs> oh no! Oh no. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, that's one way to switch him off. Thanks, Dean. <laughs> oh, oh my god. No, no, no. What, where are you taking him and what are you going to do now? It's one of a kind, buddy. <laughs> one of a kind. Okay, thanks for coming on short notice. Uh, is everyone here? So, I think so. Everyone's doing it. Can they get Elroy a proper. The rehabilitation program has been aborted, so we lost that money. Oh, no. The prison is selling these units at a discount, so I thought I'd run their offer by the school. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't buy these. Where is Britta? Don't buy these. Initiating override protocol. Oh, that is sick. Affirmative. Very well. Oh, no. Commence with world domination. Eradicate. 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 <laughs> that is brilliant. Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> the <janitor. No. laughs> and that's the end of the episode. 
<laughs> I think that's the best way they've ended it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That was brilliant. It, that was from Abed. That was genius. I didn't even know he could do that. Just override the wall and then have him running around. Then he did, did a little Inspector Space Time. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that episode completely flipped on itself. I didn't... I didn't think it would go down that route where they... Obviously, where, where think, Willy kind of becomes a, a, a teacher. I didn't, I, I didn't see that happening. I realise that now that the episodes are a little bit longer, they're far more chaotic because they can do just more they with are, the story. Yeah. They can just do that up and down, up and down, yeah. up and down. Yeah, as yeah, opposed yeah. to like when it was like 20 odd minutes long. Like it, it was still chaotic, but a lot happens Or in the last five episodes a lot happens in each episode kind of thing from it starting off being um oh we have a deal where uh we get 300 grand if we have inmates join classes yada 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 yeah. to becoming a fight between jeff and one of them to the dean marrying <laughs> one of the but not marrying yeah. kind of just making him a professor to <laughs> abby yeah. taking over the world <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? It just it goes it goes somewhere completely mental. It just goes like that. It yeah, just goes up, yeah. up. It's literally like let's see how far we can take this. Yeah. That's literally how it is. Um which is insane. Um I have seen that device somewhere. And I cannot for the life of me remember where I've seen someone else has done that. What, Segway with the iPad? In a TV show. Yeah, like the Segway with the iPad thing. Someone, let me know in the comments, someone. I have seen that somewhere. Another, it's another, I don't know where it is, but it's such an ingenious piece of kit because you can kind of wheel around everywhere. Mm. I mean, the fact that he was trying to commit murder was actually pretty jokes in, in its, in the first place. And then obviously Jeff ends up throwing him down the stairs which is even better which is even even more brilliant um but that's actually it's, it's kind of like when covid was everyone was just sitting around a table and it's just computer screens kind of that, kind, that. kind of but you didn't physically need to be there was the difference no kind of thing no um i don't know why i th thought frankie was smarter than that i don't know why she thought she'd run the proposal of everyone having the damn discounted Whatever way you want to call those things, I thought she would have said. It no, would literally be they don't have to go to campus; they sit at home and. That's true, but it'd be an absolute shit show because they sometimes to get things done they physically need to be there to physically get things done, kind of thing. Um, yeah, that was a that Brita was an insane question. Yeah, the Britta party, uh, almost genius idea of getting Abbott to do a movie. And the movie is having a party with more than eight people. Almost genius. That she well, was... she didn't understand, even though she's been with Abed all this time, yeah. she didn't understand that how he would actually react. Whereas Annie knew straight off the bat. That's that's, that's what, why she was like. That's what I mean. Bank. That's what I mean. She she was smart yeah. enough to know that Abed would go and do the movie, be happy with doing the movie uh, yeah. uh, about a party of more than eight people, and that's the way she can get him to yeah. do it. But she wasn't smart enough to to not know Abed that he's just going to run with it when you say something like party like there's no tomorrow he's going yeah. to run with it that was genius because i genuinely thought it would go on till the early hours of the morning i didn't think it would be three days later <laughs> where he's still trying to perfect the scene that i didn't see that actually happening for some strange reason i just thought he'd be like okay he'll just carry on for 24 hours and then because i'd be happy with it but then he starts getting in actors to play like jeff the dean frankie every, like everyone and it's just like how far are you actually going to take this um as far, and as, obviously, it, as, far as it takes I, I'm, I'm curious to see how he actually punishes also hang on, sorry sorry quick. troy's left so is abed staying in Troy's room and Annie's got her own room and then they've got like a massive living space because originally Abed was in the f Abed was in the front room yeah I'm assuming so okay, I'm assuming yeah, so just... because there's no fort um 
Yeah, there's I think you said you said it in the last one as well that the space. Yeah, is, yeah, I don't know why it's space. Kind of... uh, yeah, you said in the last one the space is bigger, so that now they can stick a couch in there so she can sleep there. Yeah. Ali's in her own room and Abid's True. in his own room. Um, I thought you were actually going to say how is Chang able to get get in there because he was like, well, was whose house are you that. going? Whose house are you going into? We now know whose house he goes into or apartment. Um, I don't know how he gets in. But don't in. they realise that he's coming? I don't know how he's how he gets in. Have he's got a key or whatever? But yeah, yeah he we must need to be, yeah. put a stop to that. Um, yeah, way too much happened in this episode, especially with the segways or whatever the hell they called it. Um, but yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the episode and our reaction to it? And we'll see you in the next one. Computer no worky. Did you forget your password again? No matter what I do, I get the same error. Which one? You have been owned by Elite Fleet 69. What? There are a lot of Z's being used. Oh, oh my god, they've been hacked. Yeah. Is there another mask movie coming out? Well, School's been hacked. <laughs> my god. I, I wasn't going to say anything, but you could cut the hard line at the mainframe. <laughs> mainframe. No, no, he was making that oh, up. Oh, no, don't do that. What are you do doing, you weirdo? Does, Does he, he even know where the mainframe is? He, he completely made that up on the spot. Why? You were being sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> we have all your information. If you do not cancel this hateful comedy show, you will taste our power in this way. Has the drama club done something? It's the lunch lady's emails. It's all the lunch lady's emails. What? Please tell me you guys aren't sitting there reading the lunch lady's leaked emails. No, no one here could ever do that. I mean, not even in shifts. It's decades of data. Wow. Wazzledazzle.com's got five Bacardi cocktails inspired by the lunch lady's most embarrassing secrets. Ooh. Oh, my God. You guys are violating her privacy. Uh, I'm pretty sure the media is doing that, Beretta. Kind of. The police are here about our computers being hacked. <laughs> wow. Our city does have a cyber crime division, but it's, well, it's pretty new. How new? Any leads? Officer Warburton? I want Oh job. my god, he's <laughs> a kid. really new. It's really new. I'm waiting for him to grow up. <laughs> this message was posted online and signed the hackers. And we assume it's legit because, well, that's just where we're at. <laughs> Cancel the performance of the terrorist comedian Gupta Gupti Gupta, who seeks to spread hatred with his hateful comedy. What the hell is that? What is that? Gupti Gupti Gupta. God, Dean, he's renowned for his racist act. How can he be racist? Listen to his name. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> what happened to the lunch lady is going to happen to everyone on the activities committee. <laughs> we don't have it. Oh, God, that's us. Yeah. Yeah. Announced the comedy is canceled. Wait, hold on. What? What's that? Do your thing, inspire them. Oh, do the Jeff speech thing. Yeah, but... To not let these hackers push us around. That, I don't think it works in this case. Aren't you an atheist? Don't you hate this government? Are you even planning on going to... Yeah, I would thought if any, any, if anything, Britta would be on the side of hackers. Yeah. For God's sakes, we're freaking Americans. We're talking about freedom of speech. Nobody tells us to shut up. And yet... This is actually a pretty good speech from her. Finally. Cancel the show and you cancel people. Might as well bring dinosaurs back. What? Let her finish. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to call a press conference and say, now do me? No, I'll do it. What? Show your emails? Let them leak me. That's not how it works. I mean, who's she talking to? Not letting you do this alone. Screw it. I'm in. In to do what? To basically not give in to their demands. So they all agree not to cancel the show and let the hacker leak their emails. E like leak their emails. Performance by Gupta Gupti Gupta will go on as scheduled tomorrow night. I will be deeply offended and petitioning to have Mr. Gupta banned from all campuses across America. <laughs> What's the? Screw the hackers and long live Greendale! Ah, oh, I wonder what the hackers are going to do now. They won't just leak emails. I don't know who it is. True. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. They've read each other's emails. <laughs> Frankie. Obviously, he's going to be. He's just going to be chilling, isn't he? Oh. Damn. Sounds about right. Is it possible that everyone here but me read all of each other's leaked emails? Mm hmm. Yep. I read it all. <laughs> I read all your crap. <laughs> okay. You had my blood tested for amphetamines. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Spring. We had to double check to be safe. I don't think I'm jumpy enough if my friends can steal my blood. She's How got to be quiet. This is a messed up group. Ah, then. If you wouldn't mind, please, checking the sound system. No problem. Unless you're too busy telling your girlfriend I don't understand Donnie Darko. Annie. Oh. Will me opening a box office unfairly influence wagers in your betting pool about my sexual preference? Oh, damn. That's a bit, that's a bit messed up. That is really messed up. We kept it among friends. You told Human Resources I was a functional alcoholic. <laughs> Required to file a report on every... Oh my god. She's got a point. Read about ourselves in your weirdly long melodramatic emails to your sister, who you might notice never responds. Take a hint. Ooh. She's oh. Oh, damn. I pretend to write her emails as a journaling device. You wretched, invasive little <sighs> gremlin! That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> that, is, that is bad. That's fucked up. Seen the emails between me and the Patterson family of Herndon, Virginia? I didn't understand why they'd written me. I responded politely. When I realized they had somehow mistaken me for their cousin, for some reason, I suppose it was loneliness, I simply failed to disabuse them of that notion. <laughs> to love Barb and George and Chelsea and Roselle. <laughs> and even, uh, so he's okay, talking well, to there's a... nothing wrong with this, though. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's talking to a family in... and they think he's someone I... else. It was lonely. Kind of sad, but maybe tell them. I hope you don't think by explaining that you're off the hook for the 3D models you've been making of our bodies without our permission. Ooh. No. I'm making a game about lady time travelers. Where in your pants? N no. <laughs> That's good. You and Chang have a daily email chain, ranking Annie and Britta one and two. By which oh. you mean Chang emails me rankings every day and I don't respond. Okay. Except for February 7th, 2013. Chang, Britta is one, Annie is two. Jeff, ha, huh, yeah. Oh, Jeff. Did anyone see Jeff's letters? He writes to astronauts. Talk about creep. Do you? They're national heroes. Yes, they are. <laughs> Leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Reed Weissman, congratulations on your successful return to Earth. Oh, this is a mess. This is gonna, uh... This is such a mess. Remember those moments where we're not proud of the group? This is Goopta Goopty Goopta. Yeah, hi, fine, whatever. Congratulations. You guys okay? Uh, to tell you the truth, Goopta Goopty. <laughs> I'm really grateful. This is the first school in six months that hasn't canceled. So thanks. Oh, wow. That material must be really, really extreme. Bad. Let the people in. Is there anyone queuing up to actually come in? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just Neil. Just one. Neil and... If this performance goes on as scheduled, all of your information will be published. If you do not want this to happen, you will find a way to stop this performance. Um... You hear that? What the hell is happening? Yeah. It's the people coming to stop the show. Now what do we do? Bail? Stop the people. Their freedom of speech depends on it. Don't listen to her, just... Oh my god! It's a stampede! <laughs> I mean, well done, Chang. I don't want to do this. He doesn't even want to perform. This guy, look at him. It looks like he ate so much. He's very fat. Don't do this to me. Shut up. 
When you're black, your community steals all your food, so you can't eat as much. <laughs> and when you're Jewish, nobody ever buys anything, so you can't eat. Okay, this guy's just a very, <laughs> he's just got bad material. Yeah, it's a that shit joke. Is... It's a shit joke. No, it's extreme, but it's a shit joke as well. The entire school's data. Oh, no. These guys are dead. Uh, okay. So, hey, fat guy. Dude, you, stop. No, just stop. Why is everyone starting graffitiing everywhere? I enjoyed my girlfriend in 2009 as much as she enjoyed your plagiarized poetry. I will kill you! Oh, oh damn. Wow. If you follow a theme of revealed secrets, the email hack is the third installment of a trilogy that began with Annie losing a pen in what I've come to call the Golden Age. Mm-hmm. Uh... Her best friend vanished on a mysterious boat trip after the older one masturbated himself to death. <laughs> if that's one you guys bounced back from, we might be okay. <laughs> What's the lesson here? I always want to make sure I know what the lesson is. There's no lesson, Don't Chang. Listen. There's never Brad, a lesson. No one Brad. learns anything. So the lesson is probably an ironic pairing, like one man's privacy is another man's freedom. Government is terrorism. You know when you're struggling to find privacy. the lesson, it normally means... You, you're grasping, yeah. Yeah. This is Ryan, a.k.a. String Cheese Hustler, a.k.a. Fart Mitzvah, Skull and Boners... Alien, Wasn't he the cop? And sucked, Captain Titty. No, that was a kid. <laughs> Captain Titty. <laughs> I'm sorry. For what? Forget his schoolmaster password was change me. Oh my god, that's oh the password. Oh my, the dean. I sleep at night, Warburn. I sleep alone with one eye open. <laughs> oh damn. Not the one in cuffs. Takes his job very seriously. Well done, kid. Kind of, maybe. I'm sorry if I used photography to digitally approximate some of your naked bodies. It's all right. It is? No! <laughs> Big cloud of data raining over a pasture. All eight billion sheep keep grazing. Is that good? I don't know what that means. Common courtesy is just gibberish. Pocus pocus. <laughs> Spell we cast from hoping to cheat reality. You're a cynical son of a bitch. He's a no nonsense cop for a kid. How fast can you get us to the mainframe hardline? Yankee doodle dandy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the a title of a show now. I'm waiting for the title. I know. And we didn't get it. Uh, <laughs> And that's the end of the episode. Oh my god, I don't know what the hell that ending was there. Um, it was different. I mean, well, the kid was obviously... The ending or the episode? Badass. The ending. The ending okay, of that yeah. was just... The, that's the, the fact episode. that the password... It's changed. We haven't, it, <laughs> yeah. We haven't had an episode like this in a very long time. That, I think that alluded to that in the show. The fact there were yeah, three, yeah, yeah. there Which were three is, like this. Yeah. First one being, is... the first one being Annie's um, pen. Annie's pen. Second one is Pierce's uh, the lie detector one. <laughs> Which is, I think that I think I, I think that was my favorite out of all three of these. It was. It was. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> but, yeah. But it's it's what I find weird about it is they always go backwards and forth. Like it's like then like you're right, they never learn their lesson. It's like they did it twice already. And then well I suppose weirdly enough, this is with new people. Obviously, because you've got Frankie and and Elroy Chang who's obviously been there from from day dot. But it's like No, even the one with the the rooms one. You know they don't let they never let people in the room. And it was the one with all the study rooms, that one. I think there were like the German yeah. students. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. What was the one with the hot air balloon? Was that a different episode? Where the puppets? That's where they just got up. Uh, they did some, yeah, they did some you, messed up yeah. stuff. They, they were but, like, no, they're telling their secrets. And at the end, they were everyone was okay. It was like, no, Troy burnt down a field. Or like acres yeah. of fields. And someone did something out of... They drugged... Pierce was still missing in the woods. Pierce was still missing, but they uh, were talking about, oh, Annie'd been drugging people and someone's stealing someone's Netflix, which is probably not that bad, but the, yeah. the, all sorts of messed up stuff and there was no lesson learned. So this is... I think this is more than the third episode, I'd say. I think in terms of, like, like you remember the three... Those are the three that you remember, that the pen episode, the, the Pierce episode, and, and the, the, you... The other ones you're kind of like uh it was nice for the puppets but it wasn't like you know 
Um, also, that was only for the secret that they told in the forest that day. Whereas True. all of the other ones were a build up of secrets that they had since the last time that they had had an intervention. True. Of secrets, kind of. Yeah. Um, I mean, in true community fashion, everyone suffers in this. The whole school suffered because of that, because of them, <laughs> because of them doing that. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting some of the, some of the some of the stuff that they came out with, which is crazy. Obviously, what Britta was saying was right about freedom of speech. She went completely the wrong way about it. <laughs> completely. And, and it was... What I love about the show is they find a way of what you should do right and then find a way of depicting it in reverse. Yeah. So you're doing the wrong thing, just, which is insane. Um, I can't think of anything else. I mean, that was, the, that was the major part of it. They did... They didn't know what they were doing initially. I if they I bet you if they had known that this was what was going to happen, then No, but the funny thing is they were being told what was gonna happen in real time. <laughs> and they were point. like that's they were like uh, that's okay. Oh, they're gonna hack. What's what it's can, fine, what's, yeah. what's the worst we, that can happen? We have to let this we have to let this show go on. This is Do you, um, this... I add the shittiest I mean I get the freedom of speech thing, but it was the shittiest show ever. Maybe it's because there weren't people there. But um, um, it's not even the, the racist part of it. It's just there were just very poorly constructed jokes. It was such a he's shit just joke. A bad comedian. It was just a bad comedian. Yeah, it was a bad comedian. I think he's um, part of a, I think it's called Broken Lizard, the group. It's a comedy group. They've been in loads of movies. A Super Trooper. Um, it's a bear movie. I can't remember as well. A beer movie. It's a movie about a group of guys that have to go on a competition about drinking beer. I can't remember the can't remember the name of the the movie now, but the, it's a fam it's a famous comedy group. But I think he was one of the guys, um, one of the actors. Um, some of the stuff they've done to each other, or they're talking about in the emails, is just some of the most messed up stuff. Of this group is just I, I, there are no words. I mean, Frankie's one was the worst. Uh, she, bless her, she's journaling something because of his sister. And he, oh, oh my god, that, that, that was is... a point where I'm like, okay, this isn't funny because that's a serious thing. Like she's obviously grieving this entire time, and so way yeah. for her to manage her sister's death, kind of thing. Um... <laughs> I always think was I found I, I found that quite funny actually. I was like, well, he's just lonely. That's why he just keeps emailing these people. <laughs> That was still sad as well because he was, was he's, sad, he's but... lonely and he hasn't told these people he's not a relative of theirs and they think he's a relative and he's talking he's, he's talking on a first name basis and everything oh my god um yeah some messed up stuff happened there but that ending is still just like what was <laughs> what was the point of that ending I don't know. I've, I've, you know what? I've gone past that point where their endings make sense. Some of them do, some of them don't. Specifically but in this season. One... Specifically in this season, that they, they all have mostly been spin-off shows, or have been yeah. like I think the last one was the Gremlins, Portuguese Portuguese Gremlins. Oh, I remember D that. That, that yeah, was brilliant. Um, but apart from that, it's all been spin-offs. So I don't know what this was supposed to be. Other than just showing us the kids. Being Do you know what's funny is cop. if this bit, if that bit was actually meant to be in the episode when the Dean was running to the mainframe. Im imagine if like they had known that there was a hacker and this is the, and they just basically thought, you know what, it's a random piece of footage. We don't know what to do with it. Fuck, we just stick it at the end. Just stick it at the That's end. That's what it feels like. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a great episode. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the episode and our reaction to it? But other than that, please... Like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.